Okay, so welcome back. So this time I uh, we have to kind of um, plan to talk more about the probability theory in the context of groups. And uh, we've already like established a little bit about uh, the basic group that we wanted to consider, the groups at P. But uh, now we want to put basically some structure into the group, not just from the group theoretic perspective, but also from the kind of method theoretic and probabilistic perspective. So we'll talk about probability distributions in this group. So uh, in the P. So we'll start from a. Um, uh, basically, uh, this simple definition. So we we really axiomatically define everything now. So we we'll just talk about uh, uh, the kind of main definition we want to impose here is the definition of um, <coughs> uh, probability distribution. So a function mu from z p to just a unit interval zero one uh, is called Uh, probability distribution uh, distribution if um, when you sum over all the elements in the group so you just take the sum from you could think about from 0 to p minus 1 that's the sum and you take the values of this mu and they sum up to 1 so that's all, that's all, all it uh, is. But then there is a heuristic about this, is that if you take such a function, so you could think about this, uh, this uh, function like um, giving weights to each of the points on the group. So here we have our ZP, and uh, let's say it has like, let's say four elements on the, on the ZP. And then each of the points we put like, kind of like a weight. So this could be like uh, mu, this, if this is zero, um, so uh, let's go to uh, t is the 0, um, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So this is mu 2, and then that would be some way, maybe smaller weight, mu 1. Uh, there would be another weight here, maybe even smaller, mu 0, and then maybe a big weight here, which is mu, mu 3. <coughs> and these weights are the heights of this mu t. So that's the height that you have here. Of this of this spike basically that you have here, of the spike that you're taking height, and then basically they sum up to one. So mu zero plus mu one plus mu two uh, plus mu three is is one. But what you could think about it that if you um, any kind of function gives rise to a notion of randomness, that uh, when you choose a point randomly from this uh, circle, so there are four points here then what this height represents is basically the probability of that being picked up in that choice. So when you choose, let's say, with probability uh, mu3, for example, if you chance to choose mu3, you can see that the spike is quite tall in here, it's quite tall in this picture, so that means that it may be a bit more likely that to be chosen. So the probability of the event that if you choose like a randomly from this circle, it's more likely that you, may, you will end up choosing the the third uh, number. But then, for example, mu zero, like this, uh, is quite narrow, it's quite thin, it's very small probability of choosing that. And that's kind of what the probability distribution represents. It represents this kind of, like, uh, like uh, possibilities of choosing. It gives you like an idea what is the, uh, what are the likely outcomes of a random trial if you do this in a group. And uh, <clears throat> there are two main examples that like uh, give you the main example. So the uh, main uh, examples, uh, which basically give you all the kind of you build a lot of the other examples from these two like main things. So the so the first is this so-called uh, I call it the Lebe, Lebe, Lebesgue distribution. Uh, it's also called uh, uniform distribution. Maybe the uniform is more common. And just not to confuse with Lebesgue measure, which is something that you have in some measure theory uh, course, but uh, basically that's uh, the definition of that is uh, that uh, lambda t, this is just given by 1 over p, uh, where t is in zp. And then uh, 
uh, that basically means in the picture when you draw the circle and you have these uh, four points um, over here uh, this means that everybody has equal weight so that's the kind of uh, equal weight and the weight is 1 over p on all of them <coughs> and uh, that's like basically there's complete uncertainty. If you do a, a random trial, anything, everything is equally as likely to be chosen as an element in the group. But then the other extreme that you have here is the uh, Dirac distribution. Uh, which is uh, also called singular distribution sometimes, singular uh, distribution. Uh, that's the kind of like um, uh, definition is this that uh, if if s is a fixed element in the group uh, we define the sigma uh, oh, sorry delta s or at the point t to be just equal to one and zero uh, one when it's equal to t is equal to s and when t is not equal to s and this is defined for all t in z p. So Dirac distribution is like the complete opposite of this uniformity. So in the Dirac distribution, what you're doing is that when you draw the circle over here and you put the weights, then you pick one, one of these points. Let's say, I don't know, well, let's, let's pick this one, for example. This is your S. Then you put all the weight here. So everything is in here and there's zero at the other points. That's the Dirac distribution. So if you, if you think about the lambda being here and then this is Dirac S is being being like here. So when you do a random trial with respect to the Dirac distribution, you, you will end up to this kind of a thing that you know exactly what's the outcome. You know it's always going to be S. Yes. It's like the probability is one. It's just always in the random trial the outcome will always be S. Yes. And um, the kind of idea with the random walks and everything is that typically in a situation where you are you don't know, you don't have ultimate uncertainty, and you don't have ultimate uh, uncertainty either. You have something in between of certainty and uh, uncertainty. So, so typically it's, it's a situation where your uh, distribution looks like something like this, that it's something in between. And, um, and this is how you can quantify the randomness in the group. So when we uh, talk about in the random shuffles, and for example, we want to later on talk more about that, you will see that that's the kind of way to quantify these ideas that when the deck is random enough, that you're kind of kind of in a state of the of the deck that it's really hard to know what is the outcome. If you choose a random card from the deck, it's it's really the outcome could be anything. It's like that's the kind of like a notion of a very uniform random instead of the opposite that you don't you know exactly what's going to happen, which is the kind of Dirac distribution. And uh, these both are probability distributions, as you can check. I have done them on the on the notes. And uh, but let me give you the one uh, the kind of one example which is kind of in between which describes the, the passing the broccoli uh, process that I talked about in the, in the group ZP a little bit and uh, that's the uh, exercise uh, 3.13 current nodes is in these nodes uh, and that's the we define this probability distribution as follows it's a half if uh, T is um, uh, 1 and then it's a half if T is equal to the inverse of 1 so going to the left remember that the inverse is given by basically um, so this is in uh, in ZP the inverse of 1 is uh, is given by uh, P minus 1 that's the uh, element and then you have uh, <coughs> 0 uh, uh, otherwise so this is now defined for all t uh, in uh, 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 t in uh, uh, in ZP. So what we have here is a mu uh, that basically looks the following. So we have uh, the circle again. Let's take the four elements, for example, just to be clear. And uh, it's just putting here is the 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, and this actually 3 is minus 1, that's the, that's the inverse of, um, of 1 in this group. Um, so what you have here, uh, oh wait, it's the inverse, 
p minus one, four minus yeah, yeah. So that's be the one, uh, and then you have these these possibilities like half and minus one. That uh, oh, sorry, this this is zero, zero. <coughs> So there's a weight half here and a weight half here. And now this distribution basically is uh, interesting. So it has no weight on the power of two. And uh, what this means that if you do a random trial with this distribution, it means that you obtain either the outcome will be going to the right. So I mean, mean that you obtain one. And with an outcome uh, of probably half, it's uh, that going to the left in a sense uh, of a half. So what you could think about it, if, if now, um, if um, we like start uh, from, from zero, like we are sitting on the table at the point zero, and then we are like giving the Procoli to someone on the right or someone on the left um, with equal probability half, then it means that we are choosing with probability half either one, which was moving to the right, so we, we go to the point zero, plus one, which is one, so that's moving to the right. So this is uh, chosen with the uh, probability half. Uh, so this is a uh, movement, movement to right. And then if we start from zero and we move to the left, then this is with probability one. So this, uh, I could put this as minus one, like in this way that you're going to the left with this probability half and then you end up to the point minus one which is in the well in the group in 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 z4 if you look at this <coughs> uh with probability half so this is a movement uh to left and this is of zero zero so if you start the process like from zero and you start to move, then you basically end up to with this probability they're choosing these uh, events with probability half. So you're basically making these choices of weather movement according to this probability distribution mu. So if you go like continue this somehow, uh, continuing, this is kind of like we're already going towards to the notion of random walks, but just to give you like a feeling that if you have chosen, then you could have different parts. This would be probably one, and then you could at uh, this kind of a, okay. So you start from zero, and you go plus one. You could actually go uh, minus one, and what the other options are. You could go. Uh, you could first move to the left, uh, minus one, and then you could uh, turn to the right. And uh, the other option, of course, is the uh, you move backwards. So this is the type of four orbits that you could have in the situation, that you choose this with the probability half, 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 or pro uh, sorry, this would be one, probability half. And you end up like different orbits where the, uh, where the Procoli could, uh, could concentrate into. <clears throat> and uh, that's, I'm gonna talk about this a bit more when I talk about the notion of uh, uh, random walks and the kind of uh, how do you deal with but they basically what you could think about the, pro uh, the probability distribution describing you in 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 this uh, situation mu is the kind of choices random choices of whether you go right or left and when you make several of these random choices according to this mu independently of each other you end up to a notion of a, a random walk um, so I will talk about this uh, a bit more axiomatically later <coughs> okay um, one other thing I wanted to maybe talk about that uh, on the probability distributions, you will also have this notion of um, um, there are these notions uh, uh, of um, events. Uh, so what we will talk about is that uh, uh, and and measures. Uh, maybe let's talk about this. So then uh, in the lectionals we have the definition 2.14 and that gives us that uh, we have this basically that if you take A is a subset of ZP then uh, we call it uh, 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 is called an event. So an event in this language of probability is just a subset of this ZP. So for example 
the subset of Z4 could be like uh, the point 0 and 2, and that could be a subset of the ZP, and that's an event. Uh, and when you have an event, you can define the probability of this event. So you could define the probability, probability, or measure uh, of an event A Z B uh, is is then you can define it as mu A. So we define this kind of notion. Once you have a probability distribution. Uh, just by summing over the points in A of mu t. So that will be some number between 0 and 1. It depends on like how what are the point masses in here. But uh, let's say we have like let's say a probability distribution uh, here and uh, we have some weights on each of the points. Uh, let's say here's a weight, that's a weight and here's a weight and so on. Um, and then you could think about, let's say, these two points would be the event. So that's the, that's the A over here, these, these two points over here, that's your A. Then the probability here would be just summing these two weights. So if this is like, uh, let's say, this is 0, 1, uh, 2 and 3, uh, then the weight, uh, the probability of taking, if A is uh, in this picture equal to 1 and 2, then the then the probability of this event is given by just uh, thing in the weights on each of these points. So that's the that's the weight on the probability that you can compute. So when you compute probabilities of events, you are basically just uh, taking these these uh, these quantities uh, in the in the consideration. <clears throat> okay, so. The, that's the kind of language that you have, might have seen in probability theory, that when you talk about the mu, typically in probability theory you have used this notation probability of something, and then you have some set or event that you happen. And that thing that inside the probability is this set subset usually, it's a subset of some probability space, some kind of a collection of events. And in the, in the same way here we, we can talk about the same kind of notion that this is like an event of the, uh, something happening. So when you say, for example, that um, you would have this subset one and two, you could say in a random trial that, for example, the, the event that you, the outcome will be either one or two. So like uh, one or two, or like for example, this outcome, then the probability of that event is the sum of the weights and that uh, you hit either one or you hit either two. So the probability of the whole thing will be there, will be their sum. And uh, for those who are maybe familiar with some probability theory uh, notions, um, you will see that uh, this uh, uh, this uh, definition of mu satisfies uh, this uh, probability axioms, you could say. Uh, that, uh, well, if you take, you could think about the empty set, you could formally define it this to be just zero uh, because of the, <clears throat> well, there's no weights on adding, so you could like in this notation, you could con um, put a convention that the empty sum, if you do uh, sum over em empty set, mu t is just defined to be uh, zero. You could, you could have this convention in here. And then the other thing that it satisfies this kind of monotonicity that if a and uh, is subset of B, then the uh, probabilities are also increasing. So if you like have an event that contains another event, you have to say like the probability of that event appearing in the other one will be like higher uh, with, the, with that contains the other one. And then you have this, um, um, of course, the probability of the whole ZP, uh, that's a bit like that's, that's equal to one. So that's the everything happen happening at the same time. And then you have this like so-called additivity uh, uh, that means that if uh, a1 and a2 up to ak uh, are subset of set k, set p are disjoint, so they are not uh, so that any pair of them uh, aj is empty for any i less than j, uh, then uh, then uh, mu of the union 
of 1 to k a i is just their sum i from 1 to k mu a i. So that's the kind of uh, notion of uh, additivity we have. So these are all, you can check them yourself if you want on the uh, on the, for using the definition of the probability, but that's basically kind of the some properties that we might sometimes use in the in the in the in the theory. Um, so uh, <clears throat> okay, I think that's what I wanted to talk about mostly on the probability measures. Um, maybe I can a little bit go into the uh, notion of. Uh, expectation in the in the next lecture